Hey everyone, my name's Jake, and today in this video, we're pretty much going to be focusing on Monster Hunter Wilds and tweaking some Windows settings. We're going to be updating some files for direct storage, DLSS, and frame generation. And then we'll be jumping into the game, and I'm going to show you a couple settings and kind of how I have my graphics set up and what you should do, uh, depending on your graphics card and what options are available to you. So there's no modding in this video. We're just replacing a couple files to update some things that later versions have come out and are not a part of Monster Hunter Wilds for whatever reason. Like the game shipped with older versions of some of these features, I guess you could say. And so we're gonna take a look at those real quick and hopefully it should be a nice easy video that leaves you with a better running game after watching. So we're gonna first start off with the simple stuff real quick in Windows. Go ahead and hit your Windows key and type in graphics. So the first thing that we want to turn on, if you don't have it on, is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is so that you can run frame generation. Even if you don't have the latest GPU card, like a 40 series card or something, we can still utilize frame generation or forms of DLSS. Uh, this is probably going to be through AMDs if you have an older GPU or graphics card. So go ahead and turn this on. The next thing we want to check is uh, power settings. So once we get to power and sleep, click on additional. And then probably it's set to balanced on your computer if you haven't changed this recently. If you click the drop down, a high performance option will pop up. And I definitely recommend switching it over to this one. And then you, know, you can just close it, it'll save. I think every time Windows updates, it tends to re-put it back on balanced i'm not sure why but that is something that i've noticed the last thing to check is obviously make sure your system's up to date so if you have an update here for windows download it update it and then secondly something to check sometimes windows will have optional updates this could be graphical updates this could be like intel updates chipset updates etc um it'll show under like an optional button if you have that, click on that and see what optional updates are there. I don't know why it does that. It should just put them up here as well with the update, with like the Windows updates. Um, but double check that. Make sure you don't have any down there because those could be for your like your monitor. They could be graphical. They could be Intel. It could be important things that it is just like, yeah, you could do them. Okay, that's all the Windows things. The next thing we want to do is update our DLL files. This is uh, specifically for direct storage, which this is a feature. It's a Microsoft um, feature, I guess, is the best way to put it for a program and specifically how this works in Wilds. And I'm explaining this because a lot of other YouTubers might not explain these things. They just tell people to download stuff, whatever. In Wilds, as you look at different things, whatever you're looking at is what the game is uh, loading in asset wise into the game so it, it takes a toll on the computer because it's constantly as you whip the camera around it is streaming assets in and then offloading the stuff you're not looking at anymore to stream in the new stuff you're looking at and for some reason in monster Hunter wilds it is running an older version of direct storage this might help uh, a lot of users that haven't already done this to have less like frame spikes happening and then the other two things we're going to update is DLSS and frame gen to match the latest version of DLSS. So go ahead and download these. If you're on this one on Nexus mods, you're going to have to make an account to download. That's just all of Nexus mods. Um, but once you just make an account real quick, log in, you just go to files, manual, and then slow download. And I'm going to have all these linked down below. It's just three links and we're just basically dragging and dropping the files. Um, nothing too crazy. No modding. You know, nothing nothing insane. We're not messing anything up. We'll go and download this one. I'm going to go US. Save. And then we'll do the frame gen one. These are just the latest versions. And all of these files, uh, if you're worried about like viruses and stuff, if you open them up and look at the properties, they're all like certificate signed by Microsoft and then the other two are NVIDIA. 
So once you open these up, go ahead and right click, extract two. This is assuming you have, you know, uh, a program to unzip these. Okay. So now we have our three sets of files. Okay. They're just little DLL files. They just, you know, the programs use this to run. Okay. So then we can uh, minimize that. All right. I'm going to kind of let's, let's size this down so we can have it all on one page. All right. So now the next thing to do in Steam is go to your library, click on Monster Hunter Wilds. We're going to right click, manage, browse local files. Okay. So these are your actual game files right here. And the other thing we're going to want to do is on your desktop, go ahead and make a backup copy little folder. So this is so that we can drag the old ones out into it. Just keep them safe. Um, I just named mine Wilds Backup Files. Okay. Kind of ignore this one. I already did this. All right. So we'll just start with this one. Direct storage update. So this one's going to be a D storage and D storage core. So we're just going to find these. D storage and D storage core. All you need to do is... Uh, where to go? Where to go? Right here. We're going to copy it into that one. And then copy it into there okay and then we can take these two copy over here and we're going to replace them all right so there's that one then we'll go back a file and then now we'll go into dlss yeah this one just says nvidia ngx dlss so now we'll go down a little bit here's the regular dlss one we're going to copy that one over drag this one replace all right, and then we'll do the last one. Notice how this one says DLSS G. This is the frame generation one. We're gonna copy this one there and then drag and drop and replace. All right, and just like that, you've now updated your direct storage for Microsoft and your two NVIDIA DLSS and frame gen. Um, go ahead and close that. And from here, we can close that. And let's go ahead and launch the game. And we'll take a look at the graphical settings in game. Real quick, just want to say if you initially after doing this, if you launch the game and you get a black screen, close the game and just reopen it. That's that's, that's all. Because that actually happened to me. Um, and I just closed it from Steam and reopened it. And it was totally fine. everything up you can see i'm getting 70 ish fps keep in mind i'm also recording there's other things going on um but you should this is kind of like a general baseline we're gonna go to options okay and right now i have upscaling and stuff turned off but it should be possible to turn it on now um since we turned on the scheduled gpu uh performance option in windows so just want to note real quick, a good baseline is the render scaling. So everything in the game basically plays off of the render scaling. So just start at 100, but we'll fine tune that after. So once that's at 100, go to your upscaling. Okay, and this is where it's going to depend on what hardware you have in your PC build. So if you have a 40 series card or a 50 series card and you're a big baller, you can turn on NVIDIA DLSS. And then you can turn on frame gen and then you can choose your upscaling mode. Okay. Um, that's kind of where you can start if you have a later gen GPU. Now, if you don't, let's say you have a 20 series or a 30 series uh, RTX card um, or even an AMD card that isn't one of the RTX cards. That's totally fine. You can use AMD FSR 3. This should be enabled since we changed that Windows graphics option. And then you can come into frame generation, enable, and then you have your uh, your different upscaling modes. See how the game is running for you after making this change. So at this point, the top left, I'm getting like 150 FPS. So even if you don't have a, you know, a RTX 40 series or 50 series card, AMD's FSR is extremely capable and the older RTX like Nvidia cards can utilize that uh, technology. So see how it's running at 150. That's 
more than what I'm uh, needing, I guess. So you can test like upscaling and go into like native. Native resolution is basically like, you know, what the game should look like natively. Um, this looks really good. And I have noticed that at least for myself, maybe because I'm running NVIDIA, like an RTX card, um, if I go to NVIDIA DLSS, enable frame gen, and I go to NVIDIA DLAA, which is the native resolution with the NVIDIA stuff, <clears throat> it actually looks a little bit better for me than the AMD, but both look great and they'll both get you really far. From this point, I still have like 150 FPS. This is where I would start bumping up the render scaling. Or before you get to that, because I guess that's kind of like the cherry on top, maybe go through the rest of your settings and set them how you want. Specifically, the big ones are ray tracing, which this only affects water. Uh, water reflections, there's not really a lot of that in wilds where there's water. And it's just the reflection anyways. It's not a big deal. Just turn it off. Ray tracing is not necessary. This is not cyberpunk where you're getting real light rays in the city and it's reflecting off everything or whatever. Um, so I recommend this off. If your computer can handle it, run the HD texture pack. Uh, you can see I'm, I have plenty of room, but this might not be the case for everyone else. Everything else, I just recommend going one at a time and kind of checking things. Um, I specifically turned off wind simulation. And on the last page, I hate motion blur so much. Um, turning on the vignette effect actually kind of helps to prevent the washed out sort of like look. So I actually have it on. And then SSS scattering, I turned off. Depth of field, I turned off because I just want things to look clear. Um, volumetric fog, whether it's on high or low, this is such a minimal difference. I just put it on low and then variable rate is uh, off. So that's pretty much it graphics wise from here. This is where you fine tune everything. Um, for me personally, I like to run my render scaling at about like 135. Then you can come back and uh, Turn this on, go back to DLAA. And then from here, we can go test. Let's see. So as you can see, now I'm getting like 70 FPS stable. <clears throat> so this, this does make a, a pretty huge, oh, I, I forgot to turn that on, sorry. Let's see. So yeah, now we're at like 120. 115, 120, which is perfect. And we can go to like some other zones and test this out. Um, I tend to run the worst in the oil wool basin. And another thing that's kind of like forked right now is all of my zones are in like a state of like fallow weather. So nothing's gonna really look pretty demonstration wise. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll notice, hopefully you should notice with that direct storage update that as you whip the camera around, yeah, look at that frame difference right there. So now I'm at like 60. Um, this is a case where you could drop your, your render quality down. Um, I'm also recording though at the same time. So my frames are a little bit higher than what they normally are. Maybe about 20 more than what it's showing. But yeah, from this point, you can just kind of manually adjust your stuff down to like medium. Um, you can also turn down the texture quality. This will give you some more headroom on your VRAM usage up at the top right. And that's pretty much it. Oh, what I was going to say was the direct storage, you know, helps with like the screen moving back and forth and having like such uh, spiky frame dips and spikes. But. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope that helped. Leave a like and a sub. More Monster Hunter Wilds content on the way. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out.